come for a walk on the Mendips with me and let's go and find an abandoned town that was used to keep Bristol safe during World War II. And it's up there in the creepy mist. Come on then. The site we're heading to is just a few short miles from Cheddar at a place known as Blackdown. And if you want to pay a visit yourself, then I started at a place called Tynings Farm. But it is worth remembering that parking is very limited, so please be respectful when leaving your car. Well, when the war broke out in 1939, the British Air Ministry formed a secret department to come up with a plan to use decoy tactics and other means of deception to stop the German Luftwaffe bombers from bombing British towns and cities. And they appointed this man, Colonel John Turner, to head the department up. And he would actually use Hollywood technicians in order to carry out his plan. This is what he did. Using Shepperton Film Studio as a base, Colonel Turner would have props and dummy airfields built and placed on large open fields to mimic RAF bases, complete with fake vehicles, aircraft and even large painted canvases to make it seem like from above there were hangars down below. These were called K sites and Q sites. One was a daytime decoy and one was a nighttime decoy. But it wasn't long after that that further expansions of the project were needed. Well, this is where the Mendips come in because in 1940, it was clear that the Germans had changed their tactics from military targets to civilian targets because they completely wiped out and destroyed the city of Coventry. So Colonel Turner had to change his tactics as well. Thus the creation of the Starfish site. This is one of the first on Mendip and this is Central Command. Shall we have a closer look? Come on. Starfish, or Special Fire Towns, were built to protect several key cities in the UK, one of which was Bristol, which wasn't too far away from Blackdown. And the technicians, remember, these guys were Hollywood, so they would set up glow boxes and special effects to mimic the twinkling lights of street lamps, trams and trains. So Blackdown effectively became Bristol Temple Meads. Now this is the really clever bit, because once the Germans had dropped their payload harmlessly onto the hills, they had to believe that they had hit something. So what the boys in these bunkers would do is they would have wires and cables all coming out of the bunker, and they would be remote controlled for fires of varying types that they would set off in the safety of these bunkers. And the Germans would look down, they would see the fires, and they would see that Bristol was ablaze, and that their mission was a success, and they would fly back to Germany. Remarkably, no one was injured at these starfish sites on Mendip, but there was one close to Western Supermare where a man had to ignite them all by hand because the remote control mechanism had stopped working. He got a Medal of Honour for it, but my word, would you do that? It's unclear how successful starfish was on Mendip, but it's played its part as the UK would go on to develop around 800 similar sites nationwide a concept that would undoubtedly save countless numbers of lives. Sadly, there aren't many of these sites left in the country. In fact, this is probably one of the best preserved sites you'll see. So why don't you come and visit it before it's too late? Thanks for coming with me, guys. I'll see you real soon.